Now let's look at some options for showing and hiding tracks. I'm going to create some tracks. So Shift Command N. We already have a couple of audio tracks. So let me create an aux input. Mono's fine. We're not actually going to use it. We're just going to look at it. And then I'm going to create another master fader. We have an instrument track. Let's look at a MIDI track. So when tracks are selected in the timeline, they show up as selected in the track bin. If I select it here, it's now selected there. If I select it here, it's selected there. We had to kind of expand this bin on the right, and we can do the same thing with the bin on the left. We can't tear this off and make it a separate window. So each one of these has its own icon. Audio, instrument, aux, master, and MIDI. You can pick up a track and drag it around. Push clockwork up above elephant. We'll push aux one up above piano. You can see that they're being rearranged in the track bin. You can do the same thing here. Let's put master on the bottom. Let's put piano next to him. Aux next to the master. So rearranged either in the bin or in the timeline, your choice. We have lots of different kinds of tracks now. So let's sort tracks by type. I'm not sure that I like the way it does tracks by type. Edit groups and mix groups will cover when we talk about mixing. Name is alphabetical. So let's organize this into a way that makes sense. Let's put the aux at the bottom and then put the master below that. And now we have audio stuff, our scoring stuff, and our processing pretty much in the right order. This is important in the timeline, but it's really important as I jump to the mix window, command equals. We usually want our master on the right because that's replicating pretty much every mixing board I've ever seen. Now this is the mix window. And it would be handy to be able to see this track bin on this window. You can hit this little arrow and you get the same information in the mix window that you had back in the edit window. Closing this for now and jumping back to the edit window. So not only can you sort tracks by, you can hide tracks by type. So show me only audio tracks, show me only the master, etc. You can select them here, Command Select, and then Show Selected Tracks, and there are the three that I chose. I'm going to show Elephant, only Elephant, for a moment, because I want to be sure that you understand the difference between hiding and muting. Here, if I play, and I let the timeline go on, you're hearing the clock. You'd be hearing the piano and other things in the session too. So if I don't want to hear clock, simply not seeing it isn't enough. I'm going to show all the tracks for a second. I need to mute clock in order to make it go away from the audio channel. So hiding and muting are two different things. 